Let's go, pal. Hello fellow legends, Dabster Playthrough with more Cyberpunk for you guys. Today we're going over one of the endings for Cyberpunk 2077's main storyline, specifically the Arasaka ending. Before we get too into it, I want to give a major spoiler warning, and also there's timestamps in the description to skip around if you want, or the scroll bar, but anyways let's get right into it. In this video, we're going over the Arasaka and questline, and then we're going to show both of the alternate endings. Because there's two endings in this questline, if you choose the side with Arasaka. And we're going to be breaking it down, talking about it, and I'm going to share a little more insight. But specifically, what we're going to try to accomplish today is to show why Arasaka's ending is evil. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, and if you're interested, subscribe and hit the notification bell for future updates on new content. So let's get right into the video. So the first part of the end quest line starts with the quest called Nocturne Op 55, number 1. You start this quest by going to Embers to meet up with Hanako because she has a proposal for V. At one point in the conversation, Hanako tells V that Saburo Arasaka, which is her father, has always valued just one thing, and she asks V if he knows what that thing is. Power. Family. Our family. No matter what option you pick, she's gonna say that it's family. This is like one of the first times you can tell that Hanako still values her father and still looks up to him. I just wanted to point that out for something I'm gonna discuss later. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh, guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Just say it. Be easier that way. I want him punished. Still vague. You want him dead. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka Top Brass? Call me crazy, and but that sounds like suicide. I will. This I know. And that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? You will see. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arasaka throne? Where would you get that idea? So, if you didn't get that, basically she's making a proposal to help V get to Makoshi and disentangle with Johnny for good. If V goes to her to an Arasaka meeting of all the factions to witness her father's death by Yorinobu. After that, V's condition gets worse and he has to make a decision on who he's gonna side with to help him get better. If you wanna do the Arasaka ending, you gotta call Hanako. And I'd like to point out 
This gets Johnny pretty mad. You'll see why later. Thanks for worth taking a chance in Arisaka. The f was that? God, how are you so f***ing stubborn? Inherited your finer traits. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Yeah, just don't freak out. Honestly, couldn't give a natural. feeling you're gonna regret this decision and the moment that dawns i won't be there to help could be my last ride this if it don't work out uh just want to be there for it where At last. Your offer, I accept. You took your time. In the interim, Yorinobu has made his move. What do you mean? My brother has made me his guest at his residence in North Oak. Locked you in? Yes. His people watch over me for my safety. <sighs> Sounds bad. What now? We can delay no longer. I must leave this place. I need your help to do so. Where are you? At Victor's, my ripper dock, back behind a small shop called Misty's Esoterica. I will send someone for you. They will drive you to the residence. Then we shall visit my brother together at Arasaka Tower. Whenever Hanako's men come to pick you up, Misty will notice that it's an Arasaka car, and she also is not so happy about it. I'm just pointing it out because we're going to talk about this later in the video. I think that's for you. Wait, is that an Arasaka stretch? That's right. But, V, they killed Jackie, and, and now you're working for them? Think I don't remember? Don't like it any more than you do. But all the other options were worse. Betraying a friend. You can't justify that. Got no right to judge me. You've changed. For the worse. She feels betrayed and she feels like V betrays Jackie by doing this because they killed him and then he's siding with him. It makes total sense to me. But anyways. After that, Hellman comes to pick you up, which is the guy that you tried to hunt down in the Ghost Town questline. Takemura actually comes too, if you save him. They take you to Arisaka Estates to meet up with Hanako. You gotta take down some guards, because Yorinobu doesn't want anyone else there but the board members. And then you meet up with Hanako. She shares her feelings that she didn't want to do this, but she has to. She says, referring to taking down Yorinobu. These people, they simply left me no choice. Thank you for tuning in to N54 News. Did what we had to. This is why I have remained outside, uninvolved. So as not to have to make decisions such as these. Yet now. After that, she brings you to a replica of her father's office. And she's practically just admiring him. And then she takes you to a big surprise. His office is not the only replica he created. What? Otosama. Konohitoyo. Could have given me a heads up. No, I could not have. Why? 
私が公害を禁じたからだ V You are being disrespectful Why am I here? お前を自らの目で見てみたかった Because ごくありふれた人間は時に重要な役割を担う運命のいたずらとでも言うべきか生徒しその狭間にお前はそのプロセスの一部となった感謝しなくてはな Doing this for myself alone Not about to end up beyond a glass pane 大胆さと傲慢さの境界もまた薄いものださて時間を無駄にするのはよそ準備はいいぞ花子始めろお父様。It is done. We may go. Let's get out of here. Saburo Arasaka is still alive in an engram, which is crazy, but after they're done talking, he tells her that he's ready to go to the meeting. So she takes you to the meeting. I am late. Apologies. Hanako, what are you doing here? My brother, where is he? He. Told us to start without him. Then, begin without him, we shall. Begin what? The removal of Yorinobu from his position as CEO of Arasaka. Did I hear you correctly? What, what are you doing? Once you get to the meeting, you tell the board. That Yorinobu Arisaka strangled his father, but they don't believe you. So Hanako shows them her father. Then Saburo pretty much rips them a new one and then tells them to listen to every word Hanako says, just as if it were him talking to them. If our testimony is not enough, perhaps you will listen to my father. Oh. ミサギハテタヤスラメ。アラサカ様。赤子のように真ん中と騙されたが、よりみしぎに走ったが、いずれにせよ彼にも役員であるものたちがなんと情けない。アラサカ様、What is your command? Objections. After this, the alarm goes off and a bunch of men start shooting at the people because Yorinobu found out and he's trying to kill them all. Who activated the lockdown? Is it you? Is this your doing, Hanako? To lock us in here so we devour each other like rats in a cage? Hear that? Have you brought more of this filth from the street? I ah! ask After you fend off the attackers, Hanako tells you to go find Yorinobu, but she wants V to keep him alive, saying that he's still her brother after all, and this would be admirable if it were true. You'll find out what happens later. And while you're going to the top floor to find Yorinobu, Adam Smasher pops up like he does in most of the other endings to fight V and try to kill him but you defeat him and you can choose whether he lives or dies it honestly doesn't matter at the end after that you finally reach Yorinobu Violent delights with violent ends You? Where is my sister? <clears throat> mean your beloved sibling? One of your men almost shot and killed. She was to remain at the estate. Stay out of the way. 
I tried to protect her. Any danger she was in was because of you. No one else. Where is she? Be here any sec now. Until then, I'm supposed to watch you. So don't try anything. What would I try? I have tried everything. Nothing else remains. This... You won't need. Just one bullet left. It's not for you. Look. What do you see? Terror. And deaths. That... Could have been... Avoided. Avoided? You've lost. It is they who have lost. Kyoto. Dubai. Paris. These people had a chance today, but they lost it. A chance? A chance for what? To forget their fear. This is how you want to help people forget their fear. By killing them. Sorry. Just don't get it. Fear. Ever since I can remember, the one thing I cannot deny him. He knew how to cause fear in people. Saburo. He once told me anything of value is only a flag blowing in wind. And wind is fear. And then, you know what he did? Blew in my face. That was the one time he was wrong. And others? It worked on them. They feared him. Even now, you saw. Idiots terrified of a dead man talking from a box. Pathetic. I would change that, if only you did not appear. To think you once dared to lead your own gang. Drop that. All your dreams, ideals, to seek power. Power? Huh. Truly, power? Fifty years ago, terrorists blew this building into smoke. Yeah, so I heard. And? What did it give us? Not much. Nothing. But I learned lesson. If planting bombs not enough, what can you do? You become bomb. So Yorinobu, when you find him, is practically out of options. He says he tried everything and when we walk in he was about to just off himself then he just talks to v about stuff and one thing he says confuses me so i'm gonna play it over again and let me know what you guys think in the comments what this means because i can't seem to figure it out so here it is 50 years ago terrorists blew this building into smoke yeah so i heard and what did it give us not much. Nothing. But I learned lesson. If planting bombs not enough, what can you do? You become bomb. It's kind of confusing, especially because Hanako cuts them off at the end when she comes. Which honestly could be intentional. Does this mean that he was trying to destroy Arisaka Corpse? Is that why he left the gang he created? Because he says whenever he saw Johnny try to blow up Arisaka to end it, that he learned his lesson because it didn't do anything. And then he says he learned that he has to become the bomb. Is that what he's implying? Let me know what you think in the comments because I really am curious. 
Also, Hanako, whenever she comes in, she says, not in front of the strangers to him. Like she knew that he was about to confess something big to V and she didn't want him to. Nonetheless, we do go on and Hanako tells V to go with Hellman to finally go into Mokoshi and disentangle with Johnny for good. At this point, this is where things get really interesting. This is how Johnny reacts. Johnny, Hanako kept a word. Looking at you now reminds me of the moment we met. Still see that same small time mark, little thief with his head in the clouds, haven't changed a bit. Got it all wrong. No way that V would have ever made it this far. Just wouldn't have survived. I had to grow strong, and I did. Maybe, but that V also couldn't stomach betrayal. Wait, that's what you think? I betrayed you? Worse. Lars, you betrayed yourself. What the hell do you mean by that? Biochip did more than just blend our memories. That line that kept V and Silverhand separate, well, faded a while back. I'm still here. I know what I want, and I know where I came from. I, I, I. Who's this I? You even know? I don't know who I am anymore. We're a tangled web, you and me. One in the same. So if you're here to tell me something, it's because you need to hear it yourself. Wanna part ways on good terms, Johnny. As friends. Not sure that's possible anymore. Listen, I'm on an operating table getting sliced open. Our socket docks are taking the chip out as we speak. I mean, you knew it'd end this way. That the day would come when I'd want to be normal again. Want my life back. Normal is overrated. If it exists at all, they're cutting a piece of us out. And that'll leave a hole forever. What choice did I have? Stay true to yourself? Give a thought to a tiny concept called loyalty? If you're all paranoid about being thrown in another Arasaka prison, don't be. They're gonna shred you. You're never gonna get it. It's not about Arasaka. Not even about life and death. Then what's it all about, Johnny? Enlighten me. The principle, V. It's always about the principle. Swap meat for chrome, live a BD fantasy, whatever. But at the end of it all, it's the code you live by that defines who you are. Ever get lost? It shows you the way home. Bust up into pieces? It puts you back together again. That rocker boy Silverhand's credo? Words he lived by? Something Johnny picked up from V. The old V. I don't want to drag this out. Just... See you around, Johnny. And thanks. For everything. If not for you, I'd be long dead. Several times over. Johnny really felt that betrayal. Really hard. And I honestly don't blame him. He rants to V and then says that he betrayed not only him, but himself. And he says that it's not about Arisaka, or even life or death, but about the principles. And honestly, I 100% agree with Johnny here. And honestly, this made me sick to my stomach with my decision. And I was only doing this just to see what happens. Honestly, unless you totally hate Johnny, I can't see anyone saying that he's wrong. The old V would never side with Arasaka, and especially with what they did with Jackie. Jackie was his best friend. And then after that, he sides with them? That's like total betrayal. But anyways, the final thing that Johnny says to V is this. Remember what Dex asked you? Quiet life or blaze of glory? Sure I remember. Shame you chose wrong. Shame. He's referring to whenever you first meet Dex in that limo, 
when he asks you a question where he says, would you rather die famous in blazing glory or w would you rather live and be a nobody? But anyways, that's the last thing that V and Johnny say to each other. After that, V wakes up in an Arisaka headquarters inside of space. The neural impulses have been rerouted to the neural processor, a temporary measure. When can I expect a full report? I will send it by the end of this week. My congratulations again on your success. Goodbye. Please prepare the patient's room. Where's... what? Where's Johnny? The construct has been cleared from all endams. The madness is past. So... We shredded him, as agreed. Having trouble remembering how I got here. Some memories you have lost permanently. Others will return in time. You must stay calm. Your neural processor is overburdened. Any unnecessary stress response will only make things worse. Um, am I still V? I, I died. Twice, I... Everything is in order. No. I... Who am I? Please take the patient away. Notepad. Progression and its further trajectory remain unclear. Removing the tumors proved a difficult task. You go to sleep and then you hear Johnny wake you up. Come here. Waiting for you. It ends up being a dream, but it also shows that the surgery is not a total success and V is still very traumatized from his condition. Then you wake up and you find out something very shocking. More specifically, we find out why Hanako actually wanted to keep her brother Yorinobu alive. WMF News has been notified of a breaking story. Saburo Arasaka lives once more, though now in the body of his son. The CEO was reported dead months ago, but now it's been revealed that a copy of his consciousness was made before his death. It appears his consciousness was used to override that of his son and heir, Yorunobu Arasaka. This shocking development was revealed at a press conference earlier today. ついに彼は愛する父のためにそれを返してくれたのです。私の居ない間、よりのぶは会社を変革しようといくつかの決定を下しましたが、これは過ちでした。私の指揮のもと、荒坂社は元の姿を取り戻します。決して揺らぐことのない。So if you don't get it, here's what happened. Yorinobu took over his own son's body. 
This is similar to what happened to, with Johnny and V, but they sped up the process and actually killed Yorinobu and put Saburo's engram in his body. And honestly, this is so sick, and it shows Hanako's true colors, and it practically explains the reasoning of everything she does to V. It also shows that Saburo is pretty wicked, and it's, of course it's not new news for Saburo, but for Hanako, this shows like one of the first times that she's really not as innocent as she looks. And you may be thinking, it was Saburo who did this all, so why is Hanako wrong in all this? Well, with this new information, let's look back to the facts. Hanako obviously knew about her father Saburo's engram for at least a little bit. You can tell this by how normal she took him being an engram when V found out. She obviously is still, at this point in the game, very fond of her father, even though she knows everything that he does, how corrupt he is and everything. She was sitting with Yorinobu waiting for V to leave, like she still has business to do. And that's the reason why she had planned the whole thing with Saburo's engram from the start. When she told V that she wanted her brother Yorinobu taken care of or murdered, she meant she wanted to take him down to put Saburo inside of him. This is probably what she was doing or planning the whole time after she was escorted out in the last mission with Takemura whenever he dies or you save him before the end of the game. So yeah, she's just as evil as Saburo and guilty. She doesn't even care about V, honestly. She just saw an opportunity with his situation. And I will give her one thing, she does honor her deal with him, but still, she's still guilty. But anyways, let's go on with the Arasaka ending. So after he wakes up, V has to do a few tests to end up being the same test he takes every single day that he wakes up. In these testings, it shows that V is not better actually. It shows that he's struggling with his logical thinking. His mind is really clouded and he can't even solve a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. Whenever he does a test and runs on a treadmill, he ends up falling and getting knocked out. And then he falls into a dream. You can't stay here. He sees Jackie. Looking back now, I'm thinking this resembles V's betrayal of Jackie, just like Misty said. And it was really terrible, actually. But anyways, V wakes up from that nightmare, and he wakes up to the news playing again. 54 News, I'm Jillian Jordan. The world remains gripped by the revelation that Saburo Arasaka has returned from the dead in the body of his son, Yorinobu Arasaka. A letter of protest regarding the apparent resurrection has been signed by religious leaders, human rights groups, and Virtue 100 company CEOs. This is an abomination born of unchecked vanity, technocratic arrogance, complete moral collapse. Our position is clear. Saburo Arasaka's seizure of power is in violation of international law. International arbitration is absolutely necessary to- Do we really want to live in a world where the rich and powerful can become immortal? Where they can continue to take from the poor? Not only their livelihoods, but even their bu- You are gods! You are gods! You are gods! You are gods! Life is not for trade! But Saburo Arasaka has issued his response in similarly strong terms. There will be no appeasement. Arasaka Shanai no dekigoto ni kanshite. Gaibu no katagata ni toyakaku iwarel sujiai wa arimasen. Seo ukeru koto ni kyoka ga hisio na ijo. Yomigaeru koto mo doyo de aru to kangaeru beki desu. 
私が息子を殺めたなどという主張は事実無根法的根拠もありません合意の上での身体の譲与は一種の寄付に分類することができ殺人には到底値しません殺人の条件は生物学的な死です見ての通りこのか Please get ready. This news broadcast showed that this action of Saburo taking over his son's body is not taken lightly in Night City. This sheds the light of the ugly truths of the situation, which is that Saburo has done something that is extremely morally wrong, and he's probably broken international law, and human rights activists aren't happy with it either. He shouldn't have the power to do this, honestly, and He said on the news that Yorinobu agreed to it, but come on. Who wouldn't when Saburo literally put him in checkmate? He turned his team on him, he destroyed his remaining forces, and he used V for that too, and he pinpointed him to the corner. He was literally about to kill himself, so why would he care? Of course, he agreed to that after the fact of all those things. Not to mention that Saburo did this to his own son. If this doesn't prove that he's evil, then I don't know what will. But, anyways, after that, V has to take the same exact test that he does yesterday. And I want to point out that each time he takes them, his mind is getting foggier and foggier, and his condition is actually getting worse. When you finish the test, V has the permission to call people. I only had four people to call. I don't know if it's different for people if you didn't do the side missions for Pay Name and Judy, but I'm pretty sure it's just four. I don't know if River and Carrie would be options too if you did their quest because I didn't really interact with them. But it's possible. The four options I got were Hanako, Judy, Pan Am, and Victor. I first called Pan Am, of course. She and Victor are actually probably the two most supporting people. Hanako doesn't even answer you. And you get Judy's voicemail. Here are all four of their calls. Hey. Hey. Wow, it's been a while since I heard that voice. How's things at your end? I'm in the middle of a meeting with Mitch. He wants me to hang up. He's signaling wildly. Tell him to get lost. And tell him I said that. He says hello. To you and your venerable mother. Listen, I'm. I'm stuck in it hole. It sucks hard. So leave the hole. Come home. It's not that simple. No is a nice word. Beautiful sometimes. You should use it more often. Sorry, Mitch is about to blow a fuse. I'll have to call you back. How's it going? Hey, I think I ought to ask you the same. Got rid of the biochip. Arasaka do it? Yeah. Sitting on their orbital station. All right. So once you get back, pay me a visit, huh? You're gonna need a thorough checkup. How's Misty? Well, after you left, she went off to visit her folks. For a while, most likely. Got a postcard from her, from Warsaw. There's a polar bear on it. Tell her I said hi when she gets back. You'll tell her yourself. Yeah, so, to be honest, been better. But what am I supposed to do long distance over the phone? I just wanted to talk, Vic. <sighs> Look, we go back long enough that you know I'm no good at this stuff. And Misty's out of town. What am I supposed to do? Get a grip. Make a decision. You already showed yourself and me you can do it. Yeah. Thanks for the pep talk, Vic. Sounds like a plan. Hey, this is Judy. Sorry, can't answer because I'm busy packing my If you don't know why, it means I just didn't want to tell you. If this is V, I'll call you. Maybe, baby, when I'm done being pissed off. After that, V goes to sleep, and then he has a dream that he's doing the test again, and then whenever he does the Rubik's Cube, 
This is what happened. Saburo Arasaka and NUS President Rosalind Myers have agreed to meet in person to lay the groundwork for a lasting peace. A first step of goodwill was taken today as the Arasaka CEO withdrew from Night City 15 armored vehicles from the... And then it shows like practically a montage of V doing a test over and over showing that it's time is going through so long of him doing the same thing over and over in a loop and then he finally breaks down loyalty johnny please respond to each term with the first thing that comes to mind quick as i can no thinking right humanity Johnny. Please step onto the treadmill. No. As quickly as you can, without thinking about it. V. Hanako Arisaka. Want to talk to her now. Cognitive function test. Solve the cue. No, enough! I've had it! Hate this place! Whenever V's done venting, he goes to sleep and then he wakes up to the end. If you saved Takemura in the last quest with him, he's the one who gets there and wakes you up. But if not, it's Hellman. If you have Takemura, the conversation will be a little more friendly and nicer. But either way, you gotta make the same decision. This is what happens. Huh. Is it actually morning? The sun rose over Night City exactly two hours ago. Reprehensible place. I hate it. It could drive one insane. What do you want? They asked me to speak to you. Fine. So what do you have to tell me? I fear I'm the bearer of bad news. Listen to me. The procedure was a success. We removed the biochip. But the damage it wrought proved enormous. At the genetic level, altered DNA. The kind you would find in those suffering from radiation sickness. And sadly, it's lethal. So you're telling me I'm gonna die? All the options have yet to be exhausted. How much time I got? Approximately six months. Then things will deteriorate quickly. The time before your ultimate demise will be worst. Most taxing. Wanna talk to Hanako Arisaka? I'm afraid that's impossible. We had a deal. And both sides fulfilled their respective ends. You, your case, your troubles, no longer interest Hanako. Hanako Arisaka promised to save my life. 
precisely why she sent me here to discuss your options with you. What other options are there? I've already gone under the knife once. Arasaka Corporation has the capability to cheat death. All we require from you is a dose of trust. Trusted you once already. Fat lot of good that did me. You may join our pilot program. Secure your soul. I fear your body is no longer of any use. You must abandon it. We will create an engram of your mind and store it in Mikoshi. Store it? Why can't I just get a new body? We have yet to solve the compatibility issue. Doesn't sound like you had much of a problem with Saburo Arasaka. You have no offspring. Nor do you have an entire clinic focused solely on your care. How am I supposed to know this isn't another one of your tricks? A trick? Maybe Arasaka just wants to punish a pain in the ass thief. Maybe Saburo just wants another soul in his collection. You are nothing to them. Insignificant. So let's say I agree. I'll land in Arasaka's soul prison. Put myself at their mercy. Do I even need to ask about the catch? All is set forth in a contract, guaranteed therein. You must merely sign it. If you wish to live, that is. Now, since a digitized psyche is not legally an individual, the contract entails relinquishing your rights. A temporary measure, naturally. No, not about to become the property of Arasaka Corp. Current participants of the program are all well known, influential people. We have yet to receive any complaints. And if I refuse? Your belongings are packed. A shuttle will take you back to Earth, and you will be dead before winter. It's no easy decision, I know. You should think it through carefully. Now that is a lot for V to take in right after he wakes up. Now practically what Hellman or Takemura says is that the surgery didn't work and V is still gonna die in 6 months. Yeah, after the 6 months, the illness will take over very fast and kill him. But he has another option. He can put him in the Secure Your Soul program which is practically turning him into an engram like they did to Johnny. And there are hopes that he will get a new body eventually. Not immediately because they don't have anyone compatible with him, but eventually they will possibly get him a new body. I personally do not trust Arisaka for anything with V's life to hold it. Honestly, they openly said that V was a nobody to Saburo. So don't you think they'll forget about V or even turn on him maybe? By the time it's possible to get a new body, maybe Hanako will try to on him, but Saburo doesn't care about him and Hanako will always listen to her father over anyone. But I reloaded the game to show you both endings. Here's the ending where V leaves. Made my decision. I'm going back to Earth. Going home. You will die there. Goodbye, Anders. Your offer was shit. But in making it, you gave me something better. What are you talking about? Before, death was inevitable. A fact of my life. You let me choose it. Accept it on my terms.
Man, this ending is not the best ending, but it's better than the alternate where you choose to give yourself the Arasaka, in my opinion. But before we get to that one, let's get to the unique voice calls for this ending. I believe it's only for Victor, Hanako, Misty, and Mama Wells. And Hanako is only for this version of the ending because you leave. So here they are. Hey V, how's the earth looking from way up there? She is pretty as they say. Or is that just another lie? Listen, don't forget, your implants were made for earth gravity. Could start acting up in orbit. What I'm trying to say is don't ignore any arrow warnings, okay? And when you're back, I mean, if you come back, I'll do a full checkup. Maybe even give you a little discount. Take care, V. Hey, V. Everyone's telling me you're a, a base gordo now. A big shot, eh? <laughs> so big you can't call me once a week. Once a month, even. Don't forget where you started. Who you started with, hmm? My door's always open to you, me. There's always food on my table. Mi casa es su casa. No se te olvide. Ahí te veo, V. Hello, V. From what I understand, you have less than six months to live. I do not know how you plan to spend this time. Perhaps you have chosen to put your feet up, rest, ponder life's meaning. Or perhaps you continue to do what you are good at. If that is the case, my father and I would gladly retain your services. You would be compensated generously. Six months will pass faster than you imagine. It would be a shame to let this time go to waste. Heavy. Orbital connections cost an arm and a leg, so I'll just get right to it. I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh dear. The Fool, the Moon, the High Priestess. Those, uh... Those are bad cards. Keep a close eye on your new friends, V. I mean it. Time for the alternate ending where you give yourself to Arasaka. Here's a warning. It really is not pleasant. I want to live. As do most. There's no point in delaying. We can begin immediately. See you in the future, I hope. Yes, see you. Our staff will take it from here. Hey, what's your name? Hajime. Hajime. Let me ask you something. What would you say to a person who walked right into their greatest foe's jail to save their life? Hmm. I would say... All right. But do not forget the way home.
Man, this ending is so bad. I can't stand it. I can't even watch the end of this ending because it just... Mmm. But anyways, let's talk about why this is such an evil ending. Let's recap. This ending is arguably the worst ending one can get for V, competing with the suicide ending. V has to betray literally everyone that he cares about with the exception of Takemura if you save him. It's just wrong for V to do after everything that the people who love him do and sacrifice for him. Ultimately, V betrays himself. As Johnny points out, the old V would never choose to do this to himself, his friends, Johnny, and ultimately Jackie. Hanako and Saburo use V to get what they want? This should be pretty obvious by then. If you look back at the events of what happened, it becomes pretty obvious that Hanako and Saburo had this whole thing planned out to take down Yorinobu and ultimately bring Saburo back to his position of power. Saburo's ultimate reasons of doing this are his greed and his hunger for power. Also, he killed his own son, his family, his own blood. How much more brutal can I get? Hanako is ultimately morally wrong as well because she knowingly lets this happen and also takes a huge part of it. Ultimately, Saburo wasn't able to do it alone because he was an engram. But Hanako helped him do it, willingly. Hanako's reasoning to do this is to please her father, I feel like. She obviously is really fond of her father. She also was wrong to know of her father's evil and corrupt ways and all the havoc that he creates in the world and not do anything about it. So I ultimately don't see her much better than her father, Saburo. Another reason is that it's so terrible is that the Erosakas end up getting exactly what they want. You even help them win. It's so terrible and I can't imagine or even begin to explain how terrible it is. This ending has an obvious negative effect on V and you can see it just in his or her facial expressions alone. V looks so done and lost when he chooses to leave and if you choose to become an engram, V looks like he or she is so scared, even like they're considering that they regret to make this decision and they're making a mistake. Like, he's so scared thinking about it. It's just so sad. It's such a sad ending for V. Now let's break down this ending a little bit and let's talk about my thoughts as well. So the whole thing just felt so wrong and against what V would actually do, especially after the point that V meets Johnny. Honestly, all hope feels so lost in this ending. I just watched this ending to be refreshed, to talk about it, and it makes me feel so angry and so sad at the same time for a fictional character. And let's not even talk about giving your soul to Eric Zaka ending. I can't even work up the courage to watch that whole thing fully. I just want to vomit out of disgust when thinking about it. Not to mention V looks so scared right before it happens and it just breaks my heart so much, which is crazy. And in the ending to leave, it just shows so much emotion to see V rip that necklace off their neck. Now let's think about this deeper and break down this part of the ending. There's no sure meaning of the necklace, but I believe it narrows down to two things. It either represents Night City and that whole mishap in the heist and how that stuff is all went crazy, or it represents Jackie, or it could be both. If it were the first one about Night City, this shows V's frustration with the situation and how his actions messed up everything for him. If it's the one that's about Jackie, it represents V's regrets for not staying loyal to his or her best friend, Jackie. V got lost in the whole situation that he or she lost their way and are realizing that Johnny was right what he said about them. That there are consequences for that. I know it may seem like I'm looking too into it, but I don't think so. And here's why. I feel like they place too much emphasis on the necklace in almost every single ending. In Pan Am's ending, V is happy and at peace with the situation, and he slowly takes off the necklace and lets it go with the wind, while he and Pan Am are riding away from Night City. This represents 
that he's letting go of his false hopes in Night City. In Johnny's ending, they place emphasis on V's necklace by making Johnny put it next to his grave. There are just too many incidents for it to be a coincidence in my opinion. This brings me to my next point. The game has given me so many emotions. I have never ever played a game. Another game where I've experienced emotions this strong for a game or characters in the game. Not one game. I don't know how they do it. They got me in a good way for Panem's ending and they got me in such a terrible way for this ending. In the end, I would never recommend this ending for an initial playthrough. However, I 100% recommend doing both of the Arasaka endings after your initial playthrough because it's something that you should experience and it shows the disgust and how crooked Arisaka really is in a new level. Seriously try this ending at some point. Even if you watched it, it's never the same as seeing it as your own V going through this. This brings me to my next point as well. I hate this ending and I love how the game makes me hate it. That is honestly what makes it so good. I saw a comment on a video once saying that this is the most impactful ending and thinking it over, I have to say that that's so true. As much as I hate it so much, it hits me so hard in both of the endings for Arisaka, especially the one where V becomes an engram. I feel so disgusted with that decision that there are literally no words to describe it. This leads me to my final conclusion of this ending. While I'm still constantly thinking about this end cutscene here, I have to say that this ending is good at what I suspect is the reason the devs included it. So that we can see the final effect of the game's constant theme, corporate greed. I think that it's the best way to show the final effect of a lust for power and it shows the effect of what happens when you choose profit over principle. Just like Johnny said, or selfishness over your family and loved ones. I feel like this is the reason that the devs made this ending the way they did. And that's all my thoughts on this ending and why I think it's evil. Now, I know everyone has their own opinions, but I hate this ending. But, I want to know what you guys think. Leave your comments in the description. Go ahead, share your feelings, your thoughts about it. And I really appreciate you guys watching this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, subscribe if you're willing, and hit the notification bells for future updates on new content. Thanks for watching, and God bless. We'll never fade away, why should it to me, I know. Said what you had to say.